my name is Raven, and I decided I would do a full in-depth review of Jen's Good Day Pajamas based on so many questions I saw posted online about quality and material and shrink and size and all of that. So I'm going to start that now. First of all, I will say that the material is very cute, very bright colors, and very uh, the print is just really gorgeous. This has been washed a few times and it doesn't really look faded at all. The color is staying really well. I washed it with other colors, no bleeding. We didn't have any color transfer or anything like that. Um, the material itself is 100% cotton. So it is a fairly thick um, material. You can't really see through it, um, but it is breathable. So I slept in it. I wasn't hot, I wasn't sweaty. I've slept in these every night since I got them. Um, was very, very comfortable sleeping in them. Um, they do not feel um, scratchy at all. They're very comfortable. They, they fit really well. Um, the, the quality of the workmanship on it is very good. The stitching is um, very nice, very small. There's no frayed threads that I could find. The buttons are securely sewn on. They're not loose and they're not difficult to unbutton if you need to. Um, and it has a bonus feature of the collar being the perfect length for Suga's guitar pick necklace on the shorter length to see it still. So that's kind of fun. Um, I am a size 14 or size large in U.S. sizes, and I wear size large in like Old Navy pajamas and things like that. I ordered the double extra large for these. And you can see that the top is maybe a little bit big. It comes down to about mid thigh on me after a couple of washes. Um, the sleeves are still fairly long where I can grab them with my fingertips easily. So the top is loose, but not so loose that I'm uncomfortable or feel like it's falling off of me. Um, but it's very comfortable, like I said, to sleep it. Um, the pants. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. The pants, um, so here's my leg bent, and they're still coming up um, just a little bit, but when I'm standing, they're pretty much right at my ankles. Ooh, there we go. Pretty much right at my ankles. Um, and again, this is after a couple of washes. As far as the waist, it is an elastic waist. It has some stretch in it, so it is not too tight. Um, so it's a nice elastic uh, waist band. Um, it's, it's not uncomfortable. It's not pinching me at all. Very, very comfortable and a good fit with a little bit of room. Um, the back, the pocket, there's, it's not tight. I'm able to put my hands in the pockets. There's a little bit of, of room still in the hips. So I don't feel like it's um, constricting my hips or my thighs at all either. Um, the pockets themselves are very nice and roomy. If I want to take my friends, Jen and Sugar, with me to a sleepover, they fit perfectly right in the pocket, as does my army bomb. Fits perfectly in the pocket, pretty securely. Um, the army bomb will not fit this side down in any pocket. But I can fit, I can fit an entire Starbucks cup if my hands are full and I need to carry my cup. It fits completely in the front pocket. That is how big and roomy these pockets are. So they're really, really comfortable to put your hands in all the way. Very, very comfortable pockets. Um, I did wash, I did wash these. On, in cold water in the machine. Um, and then for drying, I put them in the dryer on air fluff. One cycle of air fluff and they came out dry, not shrinking. Um, I think the directions do say to wash in lukewarm water. So obviously with 100% cotton, you don't wanna wash that in hot water and you don't wanna put it on high heat in a dryer because that's what's gonna cause the shrinkage. Um, these pajamas, are um, not um, going to fade or tear or pill very easily because the material is very high quality. 
it is good cotton. Most of us are used to cotton polyester blends, which are very, very soft and very, very cozy and you, and you feel really snuggled in them. They don't breathe as well because the polyester doesn't breathe as well as cotton does and they don't have the durability. Um, I know we've all experienced buying something and after 12 or 15 washes, it's kind of like, oh, this doesn't look so nice anymore. These are gonna last a lot longer because they're high quality material. Um, so there is um, that issue. Uh, um, and of course you don't wanna bleach these either because you don't want to bleach anything with color really um, other things I wanted to kind of go over um, the width of the sleeves I'm able to roll these up if I'm a little bit warm in my house and I want to uh, roll them up they are wide enough that you can roll them up and push them up above the elbows so I don't have to worry about that so they're not like tight on the sleeves very nice um, loose comfortable sleeves um, and the collar lays really nicely too after washing. I didn't have to iron it or anything. It just lays right back down. I do wash it unbuttoned. I don't keep it buttoned when I wash it. Um, and then as far as, um, again, the fit, I did use the measuring guide that's listed on the Weaver's website. Um, I measured in centimeters. Their guides are usually with clothes laying flat. So you want to measure something that fits you laying flat to see if it's about the same centimeters. I decided to go from large to the extra large size because of the waist size for me. This waist size um, and the hip size, I am a little bit curvier. Um, I was worried that the pants would be too small if I didn't go size up. And I think I'm very happy with these. These are very comfortable and they are definitely not too small, but they're not falling off of me either. So they're a really good um, compromise. So everybody's gonna be different. Just look at your build and look at the measurement of something you already wear that's comfortable. That would be my advice. Um, are they worth the money? Well, that depends on you and it's your hard earned money and what do you wanna spend it on? For me, yes, definitely worth the money. I love BTS. I love pajamas. I know Jen was thinking of me when he designed them, so they are worth it um, for me. Um, but again, you have to make your decision on your own. I think they're a quality pair of pajamas that are going to last a really long time. The big issues I, I completely forgot to mention were the loudness of them. Um, you can hear this is after a few washes, three washes. So they are a little bit on the loud side. However, my husband who complains about loud sounds all the time, had didn't even notice the loudness. And I've been wearing these, not just in bed, but like hanging out in my living room, watching TV. He hasn't even noticed them until I mentioned it to him today. So um, it's really not a non-issue for me. And again, these are gonna get softer and more relaxed as they're washed, as they're worn. So I anticipate that within a few more washes, I'm not even gonna notice what little loudness there is, but it really isn't an issue. Again, comfort level, very comfortable as far as pajamas go. Not gonna be as soft as flannel because it's 100% cotton, but it's going to last longer, it's durable, it's breathable, it's comfortable. Um, Print quality, beautiful, no fading. Shrinkage, maybe a tiny, tiny bit, um, but not really noticeable. I tried to hook on straight out of the package and then again after washing and they fit the same both times. Um, and then loudness, for me, it's a non-issue. For me, these were definitely worth the money and if I had a little bit more, I would probably purchase the bad day pajamas as well. Um, the, if I have one small complaint, about these pajamas it would be I wish the legs were just a little bit longer in the length um, but that's just me I mean these still go down to my ankles so they're not short I just prefer really kind of long pajama pants so that would be my only real um, I guess complaint about the pajamas but it's so minor that otherwise I think they're just a great pair of pajamas so if you're on the fence because you're concerned about loudness or about shrinkage, I think those are relatively minor complaints. If you're on the fence because of size, 
use the measurement guide in Weverse, measure your own clothes, and see if, what size will fit you. Again, I'm 5'6", I'm, I'm about 170 pounds, I'm a size 12, or I'm sorry, I'm a size 14, in US sizes, size large. Pajamas is what I normally wear, and I went with the double extra large, and I'm very happy with that. Um, again, I'm a little bit on the curvier side, so, um, which you can tell, you can't really tell in these because they're a little roomy, so that's nice. Um, so that's been my in-depth review of Jim's Good Day Pajamas. Um, and I hope you all have a good day.